bracelet, survivor parkour bracelet. We have here the buckle with the whistle and the little cutting tool or a little blade and the fire starter or the flint. So guys, in the next few minutes you're gonna see how to make it. And if you like this video please subscribe, like it, share it. And if you have any questions or comments or suggestions, please do leave a comment and stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome to the Alpha 192 YouTube channel. Survivor bracelet. For this project we're gonna need this orange buckle with a flint or the fire starter, a small blade and a whistle. We also gonna need the primary grey paracord 550, total length 6 feet and 8 inches or in a metric measurement 2 meters. Uh, we're gonna need the orange paracord, total length 5 feet or meter and a half in a metric measurement and the great secondary paracord again uh, 5 feet or uh, 1.5 meters so let's start for making this bracelet we also gonna need this paracord jig or rig so when you do the measurements of your wrist uh, adjust the jig in the right uh, length and then insert the uh, buckles into the jig after you've done that pull the primary gray paracord through these buckles and then you're ready to start making a knot so now when you're done uh, pulling the paracord through your buckles as you can see here and here I hope you can see uh, the right path how to pull it I skip this part because I know that you already know how to done this uh, when you done this uh, do one more measuring of your wrist to be sure that the length of the bracelet is correct and that it fit your wrist well as you can see here the measurement of the bracelet for my wrist is exact as it need to be and you always uh, gonna left the space or the finger can get between your wrist and the bracelet and that's all because the bracelet uh, will have the more paracord on itself so if you have the bracelet to be just tight as your wrist it won't fit you after you've done the full bracelet so my suggestion is always left some slack so guys when you done the measuring uh, uh one more thing i gonna do this without the paracord jig or a rig because i remember that some of you doesn't have it so we're gonna do on the old-fashioned way without the jig on the beginning 
we're gonna uh, make the basic Salomon knot so the right strand gonna make the right loop and gonna go on top of the base of the bracelet the left string gonna go under the base of the bracelet and make the left loop so this left uh, strand gonna go from under through the right loop and this right strand gonna go on top and through this left loop so we're gonna have the basic Salomon knot to lock uh, this first part of the bracelet now when we done the basic Salomon knot we're gonna do the Cobra you're doing the Cobra always uh, this string uh, who's going um, uh, out of the bracelet uh, is gonna be on top like this and this one as you can see string which going under or down gonna make on top of the base of the bracelet so left string gonna go on top and this right gonna go on top of the left string under the base of the bracelet and through this left loop And we're starting the cobra knot. Now, again, this right string on top of the base of the bracelet. The left one gonna go on top of the right one, under the base of the bracelet, as you can see, and through this right loop. So the important thing about this Cobra knot is to just remember the exact path. So as I said earlier, the strand that going down, this one, you see like this, let me zoom a bit. As you can see the strand gonna go on top of the base of the bracelet and then down always will be the strength that you're gonna put on top of the base of the bracelet and this one going under and on top gonna be the one that gonna go on top of this strand and under the base of the bracelet like this and gonna go through the right loop as you can see and then tight it up and here is starting of the cobra now again pull it a bit up to cut the slack so the bracelet will be firm for the second layer of the paracord where we're gonna get Sorry about the background noise, but the traffic around my neighborhood is very heavy, so you may hear it from time to time vehicles and stuff.
and here is the cobra nut. Now I'm gonna skip a bit forward, not to waste your time. And here we are on the end of this first step. So we're gonna cut the excess of the paracord. And with this cool torch, I'm gonna show the review in the next few videos. You melt So we have the base of the bracelet, the first layer of it. Now we're gonna need to join the secondary gray and secondary orange. So we're gonna cut the both ends. And then we're gonna join them like this. And as you can see, it's tight enough, so it could not be break. Now, this uh, joint paracord, orange and the gray, pull into the buckle, like this. So this gray gonna be outside on top, and this orange gonna go a little bit into the buckle. Now, make a loop and then pull the orange through that loop. And also the great one through the loop so we can fill the gap we had earlier here on the bracelet. Now pull it tight like this and that's it. The bracelet is now filled <clears throat> and we can start with the basic Salomon knot make a right loop, make a left loop, right and left, one on top, the other one under, Oops.
sorry about this, but the length of this parkour string are too much for camera to zoom in. And here we go. We done the basic Solomon knot. Now, <clears throat> from here, we're gonna start doing the Cobra King Cobra knot. So, <clears throat> this right gray strand gonna go on top of the base of the bracelet. Orange one will go on top of this left one and under the base of the bracelet through the right loop like this and here we have the first cover knot now this last one I'm gonna go on top this right one orange gonna go under and through the left loop As you can see we already start the pattern, now squeeze a bit to cut the slack. And done again. So the grey one is gonna go always on top, the orange will go always on top of the grey, under the base of the bracelet and through the right loop, like this. As you see. And here we have the almost half of the bracelet done. Uh, I zoom in so you can see better the knots and the procedure how it's going to be done until the end. So the gray one is going always on top, the orange on top of the gray, under the base of the bracelet, and through. The next loop. Okay. 
so guys if you like this video and you want more of the video like this the bracelets or anything else please leave a comment give a thumb up like this video subscribe and if you have any questions regarding this bracelet or anything else about my channel or you have any suggestions please uh, do leave a comment or get in touch with us by Google Plus or Facebook and also if you have some bracelet done by yourself and you want to share with us please send us the link and we'll be in touch <clears throat> and here I am almost on the half of the bracelet now I'm gonna skip forward to the end of the bracelet so I'm not gonna waste your time here guys we are almost on the end of the bracelet now just the finishing with the final knot and we are done the bracelet is as, as you can see finished we are left just to cut off the excess paracord which I'm gonna do right now to show you how to melt it and embed it into the this uh, part of the buckle so I'm gonna be filled like this one we have a, some we have some room for one more not before we insert it Now we have a tighter space so it's gonna take a bit more time and here we are. Now we are done. We are finished the bracelets. Oh <laughs> sorry, we finished the bracelet. Now we are gonna have to cut the excess paracord and melt it down so it won't be seen from the downside downside of bracelet like this And we're going to do a bit of 
this and that's it now this orange one so guys once more if you have any questions or suggestions or anything about this video or this bracelet or paracord please do leave a comment subscribe give a thumb up and here it is We have the buckles with the fire starter for the flint, the little blade which can be used to ignite the flint and with a whistle. So it's all in uh, grey and uh, orange colors. Now for the final test I'm gonna try to see it's will fit will it fit and as you can see it fits perfectly I also have the place to put the fingers so it's not tight as we want it to be light and very pleasant to wear so we have this bracelet with the buckle I also gonna do this one in the next video uh, it's uh, self adjustable fit all sizes with this rubber band you can just simply uh, put it on and pull the rubber band as much as you need so guys famous bracelets are done if you like this video please do subscribe leave a comment like it share it with your friends family and until the next time stay safe be well Dale signing out bye